Hey everybody, this is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett, welcome. Today, I would like to talk a bit about the yin and yang of the five external energy gates. And so, first of all, let's just give it a, an idea of what, uh, what I'm referring to here. It's like, you can imagine a whole bunch of different energy gates, which means just passageways that energy flows both in the body and with relationship to your environment. When we talk about the external energy gates, we're talking about those that that are energy passageways between yourself and the environment. And again, there are lots of those too, but there are certain ones which allow the energy to move in a, um, in a, in a, a way that you can control. That is, you are you are directing it where it's going to do you uh, a lot more good. So if we think of like, you know, a lot of people's conception of their body is sort of like, I'm in this skin encased bag of water here that is uh, uh, kind of floating through space until I, uh, until I keel over and then it goes back to, from whence it came, back to the ashes, the ashes, dust, the dust. But the... Uh, All biological systems are what we call open systems. That is, they exchange energy with the environment. And so an, an open system is one where energy comes in, energy goes out. You think of like a uh, like a boiling water on a stove, okay? There's a certain predictable amount of energy that goes into creating heat, which then you know, raises the temperature of the water to 212 degrees Fahrenheit, and then the water boils, and and a certain predictable amount, predictable effect that comes from that. And so we have that sort of a very orderly system. That's a, an orderly open system. And then we have another kind of open system, which is disorderly. It has more entropy involved. And that is like, say, a, a forest fire, where things are very unpredictable and energy is, is being dissipated at a very high rate, but it uh, it not in any uh, uh, way that that we can understand. It goes and and we can maybe map out certain tendencies, but you can't really predict what what's going on there. So in your body, if it if it's exchanging energy with the environment in an orderly way, then it's going to produce more of a coherent system. That is, the energy is predictable, and we're able to, to create more coherence and orderliness within the system, and that reduces entropy in the body, which means that you have negentropy or syntropy, which means that instead of things falling apart at, a, at an alarming rate, they you kind of pump the brakes on that falling apart thing and you slow down the body's deterioration and you then have more health and longevity and things like that. At least that's, that's the theory. Uh, a closed system has is one where there is little or no energy exchange with the environment. So when you think of like, say a, a rock is, uh, has it's it's exchange with the environment is is very little by comparison to say a uh, uh, a deer and uh, so what we're doing with the with the alchemy of of the of the energy gates is that we are using consciousness we're using mind and intention to say we're going to build structures that allow the energy to go where we want it to go so the energy is said just dissipating and leaking all over the place, which then kind of moves us more to, toward that entropy thing. We are allowing the energy to move along certain pathways, which do us uh, a lot of good. And so the uh, and when we are controlling the relationship of the energy to the environment, our bodies, then we have this ability to accumulate, 
accumulates not the, is the wrong word because we're kind of taking the energy in and throwing it away. We are enhancing our ability to to do a little dance with the environment, with life that elevates our capacity to joyfully dance upon the earth. And that's kind of fun. So the uh, when we talk about the five primary energy gates, um, we're talking about the ones where if we channel through those intelligently, consciously, then the energy exchange is uh, at a higher order of coherence. And uh, it enables us to, to move things along and things can, or the rest of the system can organize around that. So the, um, the five that were, are conventional are the, uh, the right here, the Yong Chuan point, the bubbling well, right there at the center of the foot, and the uh, so one on each foot, the Bai Hui, which is point right here on the top of the head. If you if you put your fingertips or your thumbs on your ears and you meet your your middle fingers right there at the center, that's pretty much around there. There's a depression there, and that's kind of where the uh, where where you locate that that point? It's due twenty, uh, governing vessel twenty, and so if you actually press down on it, you actually feels kind of kind of good to uh, to feel it. So there's a little. It's a uh, it's more of a nothing than a something in terms of its energy capabilities. That is, it's it's a gate rather than a uh, a protrusion, and uh, so we have. We have this, and so this is opening to energies that are coming down from above, or it, it, it feels like it's it's the energy of the heavens is descending. That's the the image that we have on there, and there um, it kind of aligns too with the uh, uh, in uh, the yogic tradition, the seventh chakra, which is not just here, but actually just a little bit above, you know, a few inches above the uh, the head is your seventh chakra. So if you can imagine that, so there there's this, this point right above your Bai Hui, which is, you know, uh, is your, uh, uh, this energy center. And it's kind of cool to do that. Um, so then we have the, uh, the others are in the uh, palm of your hand, if you take your middle finger and just kind of press down there like that, you get the Lao Kung points. And this is uh, it's on the pericardium meridian. And so the tendency of the of that energy is to be is to take the yang chi from the heart, the coming out, and it's coming out your the palms of your hands, so that yang chi is emitting out there. So whenever we say we make a tai chi ball. We go like this and we we feel our chi between our hands. That's because the yang chi is coming out of both palms and it's there, those two poles are pushing against each other, like two magnets, and you take the two north poles of a magnet, and it kind of creates this field between them. So the we're kind of receiving with the Bai Hui, and we're receiving from the from the Yang Chuan points where take the energy is going in, but and we're kind of emitting from the from the Lao Gung points here at the and uh, uh, the palms. But those are just the tendencies, and those are where it's most noticeable. Uh, when I'm thinking of the yin and yang of it, is that just because you know there's this, this a lot of yang chi coming out of my the palms of my hands does not mean it's there's also not energy going in that way. It just happens to be a softer voice than the energy going out. So if you bring your palms out like this and you and you uh, just hold them there and just allow the energy to feel to feel into the energy, you can actually you'll notice something coming in there. There'll be like for me, it's like, like there's a density there. There's a weight that's coming and pressing down on that on that point. And that is actually energy coming in. Same thing with the 
with the by Hui point. It uh, energy is coming down, but it's also going up, and it's kind of shooting up the energy that's it's not as noticeable because the energy come down is it seems to be bigger. Same thing with the feet. The uh, it feels more like the energy is kind of flushing out through the feet and into the into the earth. It's like it's kind of dumping out there, but at the same time there is energy coming up. So we have this yin and yang and our ability to to direct traffic there and create space for both enhances our our capacity to utilize these five energy gates more fully. Then we get to we start to to uh, feel more. Now, the other point that I'd like to make on this is that the uh, the Bai Hui here is that is it's the meeting point of the of of the Yang the the hundred Yangs is I think that Bai is a uh, is a, a word for hundred. It's basically saying that all the Yang energy is kind of converging at this point. All the Yang energy in your body, so then it it is you know it's actually you know it's, it's a very Yang point, but at the same time it's a Yin receptor for the energy coming down but the uh when i first started exploring this stuff i thought oh okay well that's obviously that's the point i kind of i kind of hang from a, a thread from the the crown the the top of my head here at the by we point and then i will have this 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 energy i'll be able to enhance this energy same thing with my, the the my feet if i feel you know into those bubbling well points if i stand with my over that uh then i'm going to get more more energy from through the uh through the bubbling well after years of trying it that way i realized that it wasn't working i was not enhancing at least not to the degree that i was comfortable as i you know i i was eager for so I uh, I tried something different. I moved, as, as, as you know, so that I'm moving to the ball of the foot here. So it, uh, now we have this, this, this support, this substantial point there of the ball of the foot then creates a structure which then allows the insubstantial of the, of the energy gate. So it allows the energy to move more freely through the through the the bubbling well point, and this is something which you know I've tested it out with a lot of people, and it you know it's dramatic how much more effortless power is generated whenever you do that. Now and also you can move to the heel and create your support there, and but as long as you're contacting you know that that uh, bubbling well point also you can also create a, an energy flow that way and, I, and as we've explored recently the energy seems to rise through the bubbling well whenever we whenever we are on the ball of the feet and it seems to descend it seems to ground out whenever we're in the heels uh we're still exploring that but that that is my uh, working hypothesis right now, and it is confirmed by, you know, the expression of of gin in my body, and in people who are trying it with me. And it's like, it's like, yeah, it, it, we you get this effortless power whenever you do that. The same thing with the the bai hui. Even though this is the topmost, this most yang point in the in the body, it actually is enhanced by reaching with the crown of the head back here rather than up top here like that. And so what happens as we talked about in the last few weeks is that whenever you reach with the crown, then your occiput here becomes more upright, becomes more vertical. You tuck in your chin and the top of your head rather than being flat and reach and, and hanging from above, you're actually reaching from the from this 
the top of your head is actually sloped downward a little bit. And when that happens, then more is going on in the in the bio. We at least so far as I can as I can determine. I'm happy to see anybody who's who can who has uh, different results, but the uh, that's what what I've been able to to explore. So we've got the these five energy gates, but they are the gates. It doesn't mean that they're the support structures that are are controlling or permitting the 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 energy to flow. And so that's why we have the reaching with the crown. We have the uh, the balls or heels of the feet, and and in the in the hands we get the the fingers are 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 structures that generate more energy in the in the loud gong point. It's still coming from the pericardium, but it, the it it's enhanced. That gate is more is more free, more open whenever we feel our fingers and particularly if we have the the hands are shaped in a very you know kind of rounded and like you know as if you put your hand on your head and then you, you have that shape you spread the fingers just do that right now just kind of feel into your hands as you do that you open the fingers and round the hand like that it's still pretty relaxed but it's it's open like that and you can start to feel immediately start to feel some good stuff happening there in the in the in the the Lao Kung points. So that's uh, uh, before we go forward. Any questions or comments on anything we've talked about so far? How are we doing? All clear. Good, good, good. Okay. Well, let's uh, play around with this a little bit then. So what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, we're going to do some three pillars. We'll crank up the chi a little bit, and then we'll start to play with the yin and yang of the uh, of the five energy gates. I want you to stand up. Farther, there we go. Thank you. So, so let's begin. We get our three pillars in. Feel the. Uh, let's start with the balls of the feet. And just feel the on the inside, the big toe line there. The weight is is centered over the balls of the feet, but also notice that opening there, the energy gate there in the bubbling well. So we're creating the structure with the balls of the feet. And that allows the bubbling well to relax and open. Knees are unlocked. And you wanna open the, the, um, the internal energy gate of the qua you want to feel that relax so your hip joints are relaxed. So we're relaxing that internal energy gate and reach with the crown of the head. Tuck in the chin and open the jade pillow gate. That's another internal gate at the base of the skull. You can actually reach up and actually feel that by a point point. And just feel that connection there. Now feel your fingers. Reach with your elbows, open your shoulder joints, your shoulder gates. Feel those fingers round the palms a bit and create a little depression there at the palms of the hands. 
and feel the energy in your hands. Now sink into your heels, maintaining your central equilibrium. I'm still feeling at the balls of your feet. Or at the, I'm sorry, I'm still feeling at the uh, bubbling well points. The young trend. Yes. Allow the energy to descend, to empty out through the bubbling well points, to ground the energy. Feel the yin of the energy down, down, down. Now, while doing that, Open, reach with the crown and open the five We Just feel, just get the idea of it, of opening that gate. Just doesn't take much just to get the sense of, of that and just feel like there's a energy descending from above down through that five We through your body and out through the bubbling well points in your feet. So we're this open system now. That is, we're connecting to the big chi. We're allowing the yang chi of the heavens to fill the body and the it to go through. And as it's as it's been used, it goes out through the feet, out through the bubbling well points. And notice the effect that that's having on your hands, on those gates. Notice how your hands are filling as we do this. Now we're going to go the other direction, go to the balls of your feet, reach with the, with the crown of your head, and allow the yin chi of the earth to rise through the bubbling well points. And I'll feel it filling up your body, like pumping you up. And it's coming up through your body. It's like a fountain. It's going out through the bi -we. Now it's kind of shooting out and cascading around you as you, as you uh, open that gate. being received by the insubstantiality of the energy above. Now go into your heels. Feel maintaining your central equilibrium. Reach with the crown and open to the yin of the Bai Hui and feel we kind of reach up to that point that point we did it like last week where we're kind of reaching up to a point right up here where the uh is sometimes called the 13th chakra and sometimes called the uh the seventh chakra where it's a, a point just above the head it's just a way of talking about the fact that there is what the chinese call chu ling ding jin which is that there is a lively and insubstantial energy that lifts the crown of the head. So we have this insubstantiality, this lively and insubstantial energy above the crown of the head, above the above the head here. And it's it is lifting the head, but it's also the energy is coming down through that, down through the bywe and out through the feet. And feel your weight in your heels and just feel that energy, that yin going down.
Feel your fingernails. Feel your fingers opening your hands, opening your, your fingers and feel those. And feel the energy being generated in the, in the palms of your hands, in the low gun points. Feel that connecting up. And rotate your hands, palms up, and feel the energy reversing there. Feel the Lao Gong points as yin now, receiving energy from the environment. Feel, feel the energy pressing down and filling up your body. And right now we're getting energy from above the yang chi from the heavens. We're getting the yang chi from, from the environment pushing in, coming in through the 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 lao gun points in your hands and your palms, filling, and it's all moving down through you and down into the earth through your feet. Rotate and go to the balls of your feet. Actually, no, stay in your heels. I'm sorry, stay in your heels and press down with your hands. Feel everything sinking. Emptying out. So the uh, we're not going to do a, a a common opening in a young uh, young form that uh, Cheng Min Ching called it opening the five energy gates and we'll do it with uh, some variation. It's a very common opening, so we'll do it with some variation to to access the energy the energies that we have been playing with here. So feel the, the balls of your feet sink into that. Open the Yang Chuan points. Feel the energy rising. Reach with the wrists. Feel those fingernails, those fingers. Reach with the crown of the head. Open by Hui point. Open the Lao Gong points in your in the palms of your hands. Feel everything opening and filling. Your body is filling with energy. Reach with the fingers. Open the back and open the shoulder blades. Reach with the elbows, reach with the wrists, reach with the fingers. Feel that extension there. Now sink into the heels. Reach down with the elbows. And the wrists, let the fingers sink. And feel the energy going out through the bubbling well points. Getting very soft, emptying. Move into the balls of your feet. Let the knees open the bubbling well points. Reach. Peel the palms of your hands. Open the bai hui with your reaching with the crown. Reach with the fingers. Open the lao gong points. Feel yourself receiving energy from 
all five gates gathering And with your heels, reach down with your elbows. Open the gates and allow the energy to move out. Ebb and flow. We're not hanging on to anything with the energy. We build it up, we let it go. We build it up, we let it go. And we do it, we, we control it like this so that we don't have to. It's kind of like priming a pump. Once we familiarize ourselves with how this thing works, how to work the bellows of our energy system, then it kind of takes care of itself. It just needs to be reminded your body mind needs to be reminded of what system, what's the coherent way to be? How do we make structures that allow the energy to flow where we want it to flow? Go into the ball of your feet. Rotate the palms. Forearm feel and then lift your gathering and feel the energy pressing down on your arms. Feel it particularly in those loud gun points, reaching with the crown, opening the bike. We feeling that connection to that insubstantial, lively and insubstantial energy above, reach, open the shoulders, extend, feel that filling, receiving all that energy, rotate the palms, sink into the heels, and Release it. Can you give me a time check? Um, you got time. It's, it's uh, 8.36. Oh, ah, okay. Cool. Okay, so we're going to take this and uh, we're going to put it in a uh, with the the Wudong Mountain Tai. Just the first few moments of that, just so we can get that feeling of taking that energy and opening the energy gates. Actually, before we do that, I want to go through this again, this time without controlling, without guiding the energy, because you've established the pathway now. This time, we're going to let all that go and begin and Bring the arms up. Dissolve all the thinking involved with that and just feel. Think into the heels. Again, balls your feet. Okay. 
into the heels. Once more, hold your feet. To the heels. Now stand in this Uji posture and feel all those energies, all those energy potentials without moving. Feel them simultaneously. They exist as energy potentials and you have a memory now of those. Now let's bring that to something that's a little more complex, but we're going to keep it nice and nice and simple, even in its complexity. So let's uh, we're going to do the uh, a few movements from the Wu Dong Tai I want you to feel those five energy gates as you do this. And begin and step out. And pause a moment and just feel into that. You don't have to do anything before you get that sense of those gates wide open. Energy exchanging with the environment. Filling your body, mind, and circulating freely throughout the whole system. I would think to the balls of your feet and palms up. You're carrying as you lift your hands up to about chest height. Stay in the balls of your feet, reach with the crown of the head. Feel those loud gun points. Feel the, the energy in your palms of your hands. Feel the connection to the bubbling well points. Reach out with your elbows and round your arms so your palms are facing your chest. Sink into your heels and sink down. And as you do that, rotate your palms forward, pressing outward. So feel the energy filling up your arms. Feel that crown of the head. Sink into your heels. Feel the, the energy circulating throughout the whole system. Now reach out with your elbows, pulling your fingers apart. Notice the resistance between your hands as you stretch like your you're stretching space, pulling it like taffy, 
opening, reaching out. Feel the energy expanding and moving throughout the whole system. A circle with your right hand, circle with the left hand, circle with the right hand, and raise your left hand, bring your right foot in. Just feel into that, feel the energy gates. You know, and in your, in the, uh, the five we feel it in the loud gong points. Feel it in the soles of your feet. And step out with the right foot. Feel the ball of the right foot. First feel the heel of the right foot, then the ball comes down. And then feel into the bubbling well point there. Push the knee out, sink into that right leg. Right palm comes up, circling up. Feel, feel the energy in both palms, feel both loud gum points. Reach for the crown of your head and feel the bai hui there. Feel the energy, the yang chi from above. Rotate your forearm. Extend outward. Feel the connection between the two hands. Feel them as part of one system. Feel them connected with the feet. Feel them connected with the bai hui point. Pivot with the left heel. Feel the left heel, left ball. Feel the feel the the uh, bubbling well point in the left foot. Feel that connection at the knee. Feel the reach for the crown and open that body weak point. Reach for the elbow, the left elbow. Feel the palms of your hands. Feel the the lao gong points and. Turn. Feel the palms of both hands. Feel the energy there. Feel that connection all the way through your body. Pivot on your right heel. Feel the ball of the right foot. Feel the, the the uh, Yong Chuan, the bubbling well point, set the knee, reach for the crown, reach for the elbow, turn, feel. Left foot comes in, left hand, palm up. Feel those five energy gates. And step out with the left foot, left heel, left ball. Bubbling well, push the knee out, reach with the left elbow, rotate, left palm, left forearm, palm out. Feel the bubbling wells in both feet. Feel that extension throughout the whole body. Feel your back opening, your chest opening, your shoulders. Pivot on your right heel. Feel the right ball. Set the right knee. Feel the bubbling well there. 
Reach with the left elbow. Feel both the palms of both hands. Turn. Feel that energetic connection between the two. Feel all five of the gates open. Give it on your left heel. To the left ball. Push your left knee out. Reach with the left elbow. Left wrist. Turn. And back to center. Step in. Feel front of the balls of your feet. Reach with the crown. Extend your arms. Open. Gather the chi. The hands come down. Put your heels. Feel the yin. Feel the energy moving through, throwing it away, emptying out. Creating space for the nature chi to come in and fill up. Step in. Deep breath, inhale, gather. Balls of your feet, gather, gather, gather. Feel the five energy gates. And go to your heels and dissolve. Empty out. Let's take a seat. How'd that go? Very nice. Times two. Yes, excellent. Great. Uh, oh, okay. I was going to say it was especially good um, at the moment. So we were working on, you know, when we were just standing before we did the moving. Um, or we were just doing the, you know, opening. 
And uh, and then you said, you know, stop thinking about bringing in the energy, you know, and that allowed that natural flow to just take over, which was very powerful. Pretty cool. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. So we 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 do we do we do we until we got it. No, we don't do, and then it 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 just it it flows at that point. But if you don't prime the pump, you you can be waiting a long time for the bus. Scott. Well, I've said it before, and I guess I'll keep saying it, but that was really another level. Um, well, was that like two hours? <laughs> <laughs> it had to be two hours. Good. <laughs> Yeah, when we were, um, when you had us lifting, I, I mean, I was lifting at like glacial speed because it felt like I was lifting, I don't know what, a car. <laughs> <laughs> it was, yeah, the whole, yeah, the, all of it. Something I've discovered um, for myself is that, um, particularly with um, lifting, you know, lifting the back of the head and, and, and releasing the back and everything, I realized that I have to do a lot less physical and a lot more mental and internal. So I, I really, it's I really I've realized if it's like eighty or ninety percent mental and ten or twenty percent physical, it's really made a huge difference in the in the right. um, Great. everything. That's a, that's a good insight. It it, yeah. it really is, you know it. And because it's it's really easy to just do do do, you know, and just kind of push push push, and and you you get to the end, it's like what what just happened, you know, and uh, but this way you're like, oh no, every moment you're you're creating the moment. Yeah, I've been lifting my knee one for a long time and not really getting it, and you know it was because I was trying to do too much physical and was just not, you know, just wasn't getting it. So it's really, really helped. But put a substantial difference today, right? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Richard. Um, as we're talking about the Nay Wan, it, uh, it only occurred to me tonight, I'm, I'm assuming, uh, which is always uh, dangerous, that lifting the, with the Nay Wan opens the Bai Wei. That is, uh, uh, that is the, the, my experience, it seems to bear out in testing. And uh, so uh, I'm going to go with that. That is certainly the, uh, I was actually writing about that uh, just today, I was just writing a chapter about that. It's like, you know, one of the things we want to do is, uh, you know, uh, Cheng Men Ching talked about, you know, that you want the occiput to be elevated so that it's upright. So rather than back here like this, it's like that. So when we open the jade pillow gate, when we tuck into chin, then that opens up. And what we're doing is we're feeding the brains when we do that. We, there's allows all these resources to get to your brain, which is ordinarily on a low fat, low cal kind of diet, and uh, it's uh, it it needs uh, needs a little more a little more stuff there. And so whenever we reach with the crown of the head, then the energy rises to the knee one. And it's something that um, I'm clear want to clarify the the term knee one just. Because kind of, we, we talked a little bit about it last week, but I just want to say that that you know, as I was first exploring that, and this is the way Cheng Men Cheng talked about it, he talked about it that the crown was the knee one. In actuality, it's just kind of a gate into the knee one. The knee one is actually at the center of the head. It's a, that that uh, knee one gong, which is the it's right in the, the area of the pineal pituitary and hypothalamus at the at the very center of the brain. And, uh, but we activate it, we activate the Niwan by reaching with the crown. So long answer to your, to your question, but yes. But, 
I'm I'm only asking because we're talking about five gates. Yes. I assume that the five gates are the byway, both hands and both feet. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Yes. And we were talking about the byway as the energy gate that we're opening. Yes. So I was so my assumption there was that reaching with the Naywan is ha- is opening the byway. Yes. Yes. And it also activates the the uh, uh, the Niwan Gong, right? So it you know, and there we're splitting hairs at this point because most of people are not going to care about any of this stuff. But it there are very <laughs> there are very distinct points here, and a miss is a mile, actually. So like I said, you know, for years I was I was reaching, I was not even reaching, I was hanging from my my uh, by hui and it was like uh nothing nothing was going on there and you know i felt more relaxed sure but i wasn't i wasn't getting i wasn't getting that that lightning flash of spiritual chi that cheng man ching talks about and that's because you know as he was saying he's like no no it's not the top of the head it's this place right here they you know the where the he, he described it as like as if your hair cue, you know, that braid is is nailed to a rafter, and you're right. hanging from that. That's the that creates it. So what that does is it lengthens that hanging from it, lengthens the neck and spine. If you're hanging from that, you're going to open the vertebrae. So that's the effect that we're trying to go for here. So we're reaching with the with the with the the uh, with the crown, so that we're opening the uh, the vertebrae, creating space there, which allows the energy to gush up in torrentially. So we like that. Scott. Um, so I think I, I think this is what you're saying, and I just want to make sure I, I'm understanding this properly. But, so what you're saying is lifting the back, lifting the Niwan is is the equivalent of focusing on your balls or your heels or your fingertips, right? There's it's the gateway to the right. to the it's energy. The substantial. It's the substantial that supports and opens the insubstantial. It's the doorway to the gate. The right? structure. It's or the, the, it's the, the fence posts, the fence posts that support the gate. How about or that? The, the ignition key for the gate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All the above. Mm. Jonathan. Oh wait, wait the Sharon gate. Sharon had something first. Hold on. Sharon, sure. you had you you had your hand up first. Uh, yeah, I well, I just wanted to share with you that my favorite part is the letting go. <laughs> Me too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and but but what I wanted to mention is after the letting go and sitting here for a few minutes through all this dialogue, I feel myself just filling up again. Right. Just without doing anything, you know. Right, that's perfect. That's perfect, because that's what we're doing. We're, by letting go, by emptying out, we're allowing nature chi to come in and fill us up. And so then it's no, you know, we prime the pump and now another, it's 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 flowing. Yeah. It's fabulous. So that's great. Beautiful. Thank you for for sharing that. So Jonathan, you had something. Well, I just you know this this these five gates. It seems they really come alive too as exchanges of breath through them. It's like we have a breathing system now that's connecting with everything. And we talked before about you know the Buddhist you know you breathe through the whole body, but it's kind of a closed system except for one thing through the mouth and the nose. But this is really plugging into everything but still with the humble pulsing rhythm of just the breath and it just you know the way that it comes out the fingers of the right hand as you're inhaling and then exhaling and you know it comes in on the left out on the right and then out on the left and in on the right i mean that that dual yin yang breathing system but now part of a whole body system of gates connecting with the whole world outside the gates it's kind of amazing you've kind of redefined what Breathing, Tai Chi breathing can be, I think. Cool. 
Well, that, 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 I think that uh, needs to be explored even more. Thank you for that, uh, that insight. Um, anybody else? Okay. So, uh, thank you all so much. It's been a lot of fun and, uh, see you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks, Thanks, Maria. Thanks, Maria. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Maria. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>